Uh, hello, it's Press One, aka Yusuf. Last day in Bristol today. Um, turned up to Bristol seven years ago on a train with a rucksack and a suitcase and a laptop. I'm leaving with two new kids. Sorry, just two kids, not new kids. I haven't got other children that I know of. And um, two lorries, I think, picking up all our stuff today. It's gonna be intense. What the fuck's my 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 name? Months to make it at home, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> Made it, bloody hell. So done. I finally moved out into our new abode in Portishead, just outside of Bristol. A very, very stressful day. What do you think, mate? Good. What's your favourite part of it? My room. You've got the biggest room in the house? No. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. What's the biggest room in the house? My room. Been four days uh, since we moved in now. It's been intense. One of the positives is we do have a dedicated kind of man cave now. Um, still all obviously in the making. I've managed to get on with for a couple of days, which has been awesome. I need this. About to have a very, very quick spin. It's about 7 p.m. on a Sunday night. We've got our first bout of sunshine. Um, if you can call it that. It's still only about eight degrees, but let's go. Ooh. Look at this, I'm uh, about 30 seconds outside. My new gaff. And we're in this. Complain, mate. Cannot complain. Look at that. It's unreal. <laughs> I'm from London originally. Moving to Bristol was already enough of a crazy change for me. To then turn up here. And I've been cycling for about three minutes and, and this is where I am. Yeah, safe to say I'm, I'm happy with the decision. Oh, it's it, you know, who even knew? To me, it was all just that trip hop band from the 90s, who I love. Well, did not think it'd be this. Yeah, definitely a good move. Feeling sorry for myself, I know better Chilling on my own in the same grey sweater Used to be all over that, yeah, go get her Used to do a bit of this and that, but now I know better I don't know no better Using double negatives like I don't know no better Looking at the man in the mirror Feel to G-check him, cause I don't really know that brother Who? I burned every bridge in this little town Got some regrets Bring him round I can tell you what though Moving is a bloody asshole. My missus has gone into full nesting mode. I don't want to see another piece of IKEA flat pack furniture for a long time. No, cycling is good, isn't it? I've had a couple of weeks where I've been on the train away too much. At one point, I even set the train rock outside in my garden where I was so restricted in regards to routine with moving and whatnot. Um, it made more sense for me to do that, which is ridiculous. Start to get down about things, getting on Zwift and your numbers ain't quite the same and whatnot. Then you come out and you go, no, fuck all that. Grow up, 
I've got no idea where I'm going. I think I've done so, I've done some of these roads before. Portis said is only eight miles away from Bristol, city centre. So it's not completely alien to me. But at the same time, I guess when you're now living somewhere, you want to explore it properly. Didn't realise how beautiful it would actually be from the coast to the countryside in about five minutes. New preps touch the road like it's fucking mine. Got our eyes, make our brother slide up the fires. Nice. nice. It's kind of nice. Mm. Bucky and a baggy, yeah, that's a price. See that in the distance? That's Wales. Currently on that amazing climb that I uh, have to do up to my house, which I descended earlier on. But bruv, and bruv is non-binary term. This is sick. Just returned back, and that, that was sick. And it might be hyperbole, because first proper ride, well I say proper ride, it was a little 20 mile loop of just exploration. Maybe in the rain, <laughs> it won't be as nice climbing that, that big hill on the seafront uh, with, a, with a headwind in the middle of winter. But for now, loved it. Porter said, I think you were a good choice. Let's see what happens.